started at Oswald Street School uh, in January 2022, um, I was somewhat taken aback uh, and, and saddened that there wasn't a school library. Um, and I quickly decided um, that this was a project that needed to, to be delivered upon uh, as an immediate priority. Uh, and there was overwhelming support from uh, parents, from pupils, from staff. So it was a really galvanising uh, process, actually, in getting people excited about bringing a library back into the heart of the school. Um, and that process uh, probably took about a year because um, it was very much uh, a blank canvas. Uh, there was an empty room. Um, fun enough, it had actually previously been the library, uh, so it was an obvious setting for the new library. Uh, but we didn't have any books, uh, we didn't have a librarian, uh, there was no uh, culture of, of um, um, li libraries at the school. So that process was actually a really good one to involve everyone uh, in, including pupils. They had uh, input into the d design and the layout and how it would all work. Um, and when we were able to open the doors to that new library in, in January of this year, um, it was a really exciting moment in, in the school. Um, we'd been able to sort of build up towards that, engage with lots of people in helping to donate books and, and helping with getting the books on the shelves and scanning them and getting them on the system. Uh, so very much a community, um, whole school community project. Uh, but it has um, really been transformational uh, as a space. It, it's very much um, uh, a hub um, within the school. Um, it's very busy in there and at different times of the day it, it has uh, has a different kind of atmosphere and feel. Um, at breaks times and lunch times it's quite buzzy, people in there um, relaxing and reading um, and meeting together um, and then during the course of the day uh, a lot of the older pupils in particular using it uh, as a study space. I think, I think the biggest impact is just um, um, being able to promote the importance of reading uh, and literacy. Uh, and we were very keen that this wasn't just about the English department, that all faculties would come in and use the space um, uh, and that it would it would really be um, uh, at the heart of the, of the school. Uh, and for a lot of our pupils, it's become a kind of sanctuary for them, a home. Um, many of the pupils are pupil library ambassadors, so they're actively involved in the running of the library. Uh, and for them, that's that's given them a real sense of purpose and involvement, uh, an area of interest. Um, so although we're in the infancy of the project, it, it's been a really exciting start, uh, and we're really really excited about uh, what's what's to come. I'm an English teacher by background, so I suppose I uh, have a particular investment in um, in books and reading and literacy. Um, but for me, it was uh, much more than that. Um, uh, and to me, a school without a library um, is anathema. You know, I, I'm, you, you cannot have a school, in my view, without a library at the heart of it um, in terms of uh, not just literacy and reading, uh, but independent learning uh, about curiosity of, of uh, exploring um, uh, collaborative learning. Uh, and there's, there's few areas, I think, in schools that involve all year groups, boys and girls, um, academically able and those uh, who perhaps um, find academic life more difficult. The library is a space for each one of those individuals. It crosses over every single subject. Um, and it, it's also, or certainly our library is not just an academic space. I, I view it actually um, in some ways as a pastoral space as well. Um, where there are pupils um, that for them that is their happy place, that is where they find um, a sanctuary and for some pupils who are perhaps neurodiverse um, it, it gives them a, a, a calm environment that perhaps isn't there in the playground. Um, so I've always said that if if I've got pupils that go into my library and they never even take a book out, that's absolutely fine. Um, because if that place um, has uh, played a part in enhancing their school experience, is um, it, a place where they can be happy and comfortable and supported, um, then that's uh, doing its job. So it's it's a really interesting, a library is a really interesting space from that point of view, particularly if you have the opportunity to think creatively about what that space should look like, should feel like, um, how dynamic that space is. Um, and I think if done done right, it doesn't have to be a huge expense. Um, 
uh, inevitably, like anything, um, you have to re resource things properly. Uh, and I would always say, you, you know, you, a great school library needs a great school librarian. Um, you need a fresh stock of books. Um, but parents and, and former pupils often get behind these projects uh, and, and can support schools. Um, so like anything, it's a question of prioritization. Uh, for me, it was at the very top uh, of the list above everything else. Um, and I'm very keen to ensure that the library remains uh, central um, and at the heart of, heart of school life at Oswald Street. The evening itself was a fantastic celebration of all the great work that's going on in schools around the country, um, showcasing uh, the inspiring and creative work of librarians uh, and the important work that goes on in there. So there, there was an important bringing together of, of that community um, nationally um, to share um, all the great things that are going on, to encourage one another uh, as well. Uh, and I think the awards um, are an important um, uh, voice piece for uh, advocating for the the importance and, and power of great great school libraries um, and telling that story.